So uh, this really, this question of barriers really comes back to uh, the accessibility of different types of classification of DBSL. The first challenge is that not everyone is classifiable, and the second challenge is that uh, gene expression profiling is expensive and 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 not uh, instant. It takes time, and DBSL is a disease that uh, needs urgent treatment often. And so, um, one of the interesting questions will be to work out if this differential effect is uh, true when you use the simpler hands classification system, which is a little bit less accurate, but it, we don't know if that will um, be true. And so one of the interesting things that we did was we looked back at some of the real world studies, although they're small, there are a lot of, uh, a number of different studies in different parts of the world, all small studies, but all show that using this slightly less nuanced Hans classification system, that effect does seem to be a differential effect that polar chip working better in ABC type does seem to work in these small studies, even if you use the Hans classification system. And so what will really be interesting going forward, we to see what happens in the ongoing trials. There's polar go, polar bear, polar ice, they've all got uh, fun names given, uh, given the polar references. And as those trials read out, it will be interesting to see if this same differential effect is seen uh, in those trials when they read out.